Greetings! This is Sarah Canary, a technical writer on the documentation team at cPanel. I'm here to show you how to use the File Manager interface to manage your website's files. You can also use our FTP, SFTP, and web disk features if you prefer other methods of file management. Let's go ahead and log into cPanel. And here we are in the cPanel home interface. Let's find the file group and then click the file manager icon. The file manager interface will open in a new browser tab. The search feature here at the top allows you to search for files. Select the location that you want to search, enter what you're searching for, and then just click go. A list of the files that match your search criteria will appear. Double click a file to navigate to the directory that contains that file. To manage any preferences you might have for the file manager interface, click settings in the top right corner. You can use these settings to determine the directory that file manager opens in, whether you want to view any hidden or dot files, and whether you want cPanel to display a character encoding warning every time that you open a text file. Make your changes and then click save. Or if you don't wanna make any changes, click cancel. This list of files and folders on the left side of the interface is called a directory tree. Click a plus icon to expand that directory and view its contents, and click the folder or name to open that folder. The contents of the current directory will appear here in the main window. This window is going to list all of the files in the directory, their sizes, when they were last modified, their file types, and their permissions. Navigating through your files in File Manager is pretty similar to navigating your files on your desktop or laptop computer. Double-click directories to look in them, or use up one level to back out of a directory. Click a heading to sort by that column. You can use the back and forward links to navigate your files as well, or click Reload to reload them. To select files and folders, Click on an item to select a single item, click Select All to select everything in the current folder, or hold the Shift key while you click multiple times. Click Plus File or Plus Folder to add a new file or a new folder. I'm going to go ahead and create a file, and I'll name it Rank.and. Then just click Create File, and the list of files and folders refreshes to show the new file I created. Click Copy to copy a file, but make sure to select another location because File Manager can't put two files with the same name in the same folder. Click Move to move a file to another location on your cPanel account, say another folder. Click Upload to upload files to the current directory, or you can click Download to download the selected files. Click Delete to delete files. They'll go to your trash folder unless you override that feature. You can click View Trash down here to see what's in there. You can click Restore while you're in the Trash folder to restore a deleted file to its previous location, or click Empty Trash to empty the folder permanently. But be careful doing this because once you empty trash, you can't get it back. Click Rename to rename files or folders. Now, if you want to actually edit your files, you're going to have a few options. Click Edit to edit files in a plain text editor. Click Code Editor to edit files in a text editor with code style highlighting. Or click HTML Editor to edit HTML files in an HTML editor. You can click Permissions to update a file or directory's read and write permissions. Click View to view a file in your browser or click Extract or Compress to extract and compress .zip files. You can also perform many of these actions by right-clicking on a file in the list, like this. For more information about cPanel, visit cPanel.net or follow at cPanel on Twitter. Thanks for watching and happy automating!